Dana and Jess in the morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's get started. Good morning. I listen every morning. 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Happy Friday. We did it. We made it to Friday. My name is Dana Marshall. Jess on vacation. She'll be back with us Monday morning. Uh, Weather-wise, not too bad. Cloudy skies. A few showers or thunderstorms are expected by dinner time this evening with a high of 80 today. And coming up on the show, what's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Give me your answer by tapping the chat button on the KFR app. I'll be reading those answers in the 7 o'clock hour. Also, Florida Man Friday. Uh, I've always said the Florida Man situation, it's not a game, but apparently it is a game now. We're going to cover that in the 8 o'clock hour, specifically 8.30 this morning with Florida Man Friday. Hey, let's not forget, since I keep saying the word Friday over and over, oh yeah, the end of the work week, we celebrate with a Friday dance party. If there's a throwback song that gets your butt moving, I'll try to play it for you. Tap the chat button on the KFR app, send me your request, and we'll see if we can throw it on for the Friday dance party. All morning long, playing those hits to get your butt moving and get ready for the weekend. All right, let's get this show started. Are you ready? Of course you are. It's Friday. Here we go. WKFR FM and WKFR FM HD1. The Town Square Media Station. Hands down, that's my new favorite song on the radio. I just love it. Too sweet from Hozier. It's 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Dana Marshall here. Jess on vacation. She'll be back with us on Monday. Friendly reminder, if you want to come out, hang out with me, get some killer deals on phones, you should do that. I'm going to be live at the Metro by T-Mobile. This is the one out on 3500 East Main Street. So basically the uh, near the corner of Nazareth and East Main in Kalamazoo. I'll be out there from 4 till 6 this afternoon. There are tons of incredible deals going on for both new and existing customers. And it's more than just getting a really cool new free phone. All right, so make sure you join me from 4 till 6 today. T-Mobile, the corner of Nazareth and East Main Street in Kalamazoo with 103.3 KFR. I look forward to seeing you out there. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. Good morning. Dana Marshall here, Jess on vacation. What's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Tap the chat button on the KFR app with your answer. Uh, my answer is simple trips to Jamaica. Absolutely. freaking uh, I, uh, I used to go to Jamaica on vacation once a year. I don't know. I did that for four or five years. Um, because when you go once, you just love it so much. It's got, it's been 12 years since I've been there. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do if I had tons of money. What about you? Ryan says all the flights. I, I, I dig that. What's one thing you buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Donnie says books. Ariel said healthy food. Oh, man, you you need all the money for that. It's expensive. Felicia says massages, vacations, uh, rescue animals. Listen, we said one thing you buy. That's a lot of things you buy. Darcy says all the Harry Potter Legos. (laughs) Priorities. Darcy also said, hey, new pair of socks every day. They're so soft inside when they're new. All right, so what's one thing you buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Tap the chat button on the KFR app right now with your answer. I'm going to read more of those answers coming up in about 15 minutes. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. Good 
Good morning. Dana Marshall here. Jess on vacation. She will be back on Monday. Silly little question. What's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Tap that chat button on the KFR app with your answer. Michelle says, airplane tickets so I could see the world. I think so far travel is the number one answer. Uh, Lisa says, probably clothes and shoes for my kids. Apparently, I never get them enough. They never have anything to wear with a eye-rolling emoji. I hear you. Mike says, bigger boats and time off to spend on them. What's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Jamie says, home repairs and upgrades, right? Deborah says, movies and books. Holly and Robin both said concert tickets. All of the concert tickets. Man, remember pre-pandemic? I feel, I feel like I was going to a concert constantly. Non-stop going to concerts back then. It feels like a million years ago. I've only been to a handful of concerts since then. So what about you? What's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited funds? Tap that chat button on the KFR app right now with your answer. We're going to read more of those answers in about 15 minutes. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Some Friday dance party action from Blue Cantrell. Hit him up style on 103.3 KFR. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. What's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Tap the chat button on the KFR app right now with your answer. Sarah says pain relief. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry you are going through chronic pain, and uh, I hope you get it figured out. That is the worst. Courtney says, plane tickets and concert tickets. That's not one thing, Courtney, that's cheating. But all of you cheated because Kimberly said massages, books, and vacation tickets. Travel in general or vacation, uh, the number one answer today. Melissa says, pet supplies. What's one thing you'd buy regularly if you had unlimited money? Annette says, groceries. Oh, amen to that, right? And Rochelle says, dogs. And we don't want to think of uh, dogs as buying dogs, but adopting dogs from the SPCA of Southwest Michigan, for example. Just a thought. All right, we'll keep those answers coming in or just chat with us in real time anytime by tapping that chat button on the KFR app. And don't forget, this is a Friday dance party. If there is a throwback song that always gets your butt moving and you'd like to hear it, tap the chat button on the KFR app and request a song right now. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body. A full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Dana and Jess tell bad behaving celebrities where to go with Have a Seat on 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Dana Marshall here. Jess on vacation. Tom Cruise is allegedly eyeing Angelina Jolie for a romantic relationship. A source says over the past few years, they've had conversations about working together. It's just about finding the right project. And lately, Ange has seemed more open to getting to know him socially, too. Tom raves about Angelina Jolie's intellect and what a strong, impressive woman she is. His goal is to convince her to work with him. Then he'll romance her. Their mutual friends could see this happening. End of quote. Um, dear Tom Cruise, you know Angelina Jolie isn't going to start wearing flats instead of high heels on the red carpet to benefit your self-esteem, right? That's, uh, that's something you've had actresses do in the past because of your insecurity about your height. I don't see Angelina Jolie jumping into that role. Maybe it's just me. Tom. Have a seat with stilts. I don't know. He's not even that short. I don't know what his problem is with this. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Dana Marshall here. Jess on vacation. She'll be back on Monday, but uh, since it is Friday, we still have to take a look down to Florida and go, uh, hey, Florida, what you doing down there? It's Florida Man Friday. A Florida Man video game? Well, a new Florida Man video game has been created. It's called Floridale Man, The Joy of Chaos. 
players take on the role of a character working at the friction, frictional at the fictional grocery store called Hublix. For those of you that have lived in Florida, you know that the popular grocery store down there is called Publix, but this one Hublix. The character causes trouble in the fictional town of Floridale. The game aims to remind players that it's fun to be yourself and embrace your inner chaos. No! 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 Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. The 103.3 KFR Facebook friend of the day. Like the 103.3 KFR Facebook page, interact with us in some form, and you might be the Facebook friend of the day like Lisa Bennett. The headline, this Michigan ice cream parlor has a challenge that's impossible. I, I think this article is actually about Hayloft, an ice cream place that's legendary in Little Decatur, Michigan. Well, uh, Lisa, I think, is encouraging her husband about this impossible challenge because her Facebook comment is, Kenny Bennett, you can do it! I can't see the words you can do it without then saying it in my mind in that voice. You know, from the Adam Sandler movies, Rob Schneider, you can do it! Just me? It's just me. All right, well, regardless, Lisa, we are all on board in your support of your husband eating too much ice cream, and that's why you get this. You get nothing! Good day, sir! My apologies. We just don't have a prize here. But, Lisa, thank you so much for being a part of the KFR Facebook page and for being a part of the show. You are today's KFR Facebook friend of the day. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become real. Slow it down. The latest from Benson Boone on 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Dana Marshall here. Uh, it is time for me to go, but I will be broadcasting live. I would love for you to come out and say hello. I'll be at the Metro by T-Mobile this afternoon. That is the Metro by T-Mobile on the corner of East Main Street and Nazareth in Kalamazoo. There will be incredible deals for new and existing customers from 4 till 6 this afternoon. Please come out, see me, say hello. Uh, let's see, what other notes of uh, importance? Oh, Binder Park Zoo. We're going to have family four packs of tickets for you to Binder Park Zoo beginning Monday. And the only way you can win is to have the KFR app on your smartphone device. This will be a KFR app exclusive contest. So please make sure you have the app downloaded to your phone for the winning to begin on Monday. Also, speaking of Monday, Jess will be back for vacation on Monday. You don't have to hear me by myself anymore. High fives all around. But for now, I got to get out of here. Have a great day. And actually, have a great weekend. And please, be nice to people. If you miss Dana and Jess in the morning, we got you covered. The 103.3 KFR Morning Show can be streamed and downloaded and abused wherever you get your podcast. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality.